much, dude. I just paid $400 for this elite trainer box from Pokemon's Team Up, and this marks the start of one of the most difficult. No Team Ups, okay. Oh my gosh. Most expensive. Have a lot of money. Team Up is expensive at the moment. And most ambitious set completion challenges ever. I really hope you fail. So ambitious that I already know I cannot do this alone. You need a partner. You want something spicy. Look for Pokemon cards with three Pokemon on it. That's right. This is the team up challenge while teaming up with other members of the community. Okay, uh, good luck. And we're starting this thing at Card Party. I don't even know where to start. My own event. Hey, what's up? Good to see you. Hey, good to see you. Unfortunately, I'm so busy running the show, I barely have any time to work with. Oh, it's getting crazy here. <laughs> but I need to get the ball rolling before I tag team the next person in. Don't panic! And there's no better way to begin a set than with an elite trainer box. And literally, this is the only one I could find on the floor. Okay, there you go. This is clean, look at that. What's the uh, selling price on this one? Uh, I'm asking 400. You got it, thanks man. We got it. Now I need to hustle back to the creator room and that's when I realize I need a binder, so. I don't even have a binder to put these in. Why do I do this to myself? And that's when the guys at vault -X came in clutch and handed me a brand new binder. Oh, this is the SV2. Yeah. Uh, that's fine, that's, thank you so much. You're welcome, man. So yeah, we're gonna put team up in this Paldea Evolved binder, but that doesn't matter. We just need a binder and we need to open this ETB now. There it is, the set list featuring 196 total cards that I have to collect. And for this challenge specifically, one of the rules is that at least half of the cards have to come from several members of the Pokemon community. This way, I can't just go out to a store and buy all the singles I need or buy one person's entire collection. Let's go. And in my very first pack of team up, we pull a rainbow Cobalion, one of the secret rares in the set right off the get go. And we're off to a great start. But unfortunately, that was the only hit that came out of this box, but that's okay because we need all of these cards, the commons, uncommons and rares, all of it. Okay, so now how do we do this? Okay, let's sort. Which I need to do fast because I have a stage talk coming up at my event and not much time to organize. Speaking of time, I have until I leave for Worlds in Japan to complete this difficult set. Let's go. I have about two months or 59 days to be exact, which shouldn't be a problem. And if I don't, like with some of the other set challenges, the entire binder will be given away. After that one ETB, I count up the cards and... 54, 55, so total. 141, this, I don't know if this is gonna happen. We're gonna need some backup. So we got Pokeball and Mike here. I need your help, dude. You don't even know what's going on. No um, we're trying to complete a team up set. Can I tag you in to go collect and find some more cards? Absolutely. Bro, okay, I'm gonna give this to you. I appreciate, I gotta go. And just like that, um, it was out of my hands. Find some team up cards. Mike immediately went back to the vendor floor to look around. Team up, team up, team up. Let's see, let's see, is that team up? And unfortunately, it looked like he was gonna come up short. Holy moly, this is harder than I thought. <laughs> all right, you guys, we've been all the way around this place. I'm not gonna check anymore. But I know a guy that's got a lot of team up cards. And that guy is Catch 'em All 22. Yeah. We need team up cards. Anything team up. Okay. And it looks like he has no idea what's going on. I think I have one. That's Ooh. team up. All right, we got a Gengar and Mimikyu. We will take that. Thanks, Mike. And thanks, Catch 'em All. Team effort for sure. And yeah, one is better than none. We, we, we helped out a little bit, you guys. Hmm. I wonder who he's going to find to help me out next. I know this man. I know this man. Radar. Yo, it's Pokemon Radar. And after a quick debriefing with Mike, Radar is off to use his radar, hopefully. Well, let's do it. <laughs> My strategy is go to every vendor possible. I'm gonna get a little crazy with it. I think we're gonna look for some graded cards and crack them out of the slab. And little did I know, radar went for the grand slam right off the bat. All right, how much How much is the PSA 10 Latias Latios for a friend? The Latias Latios alt art is the chase card in this set, and it's super expensive, especially at a PSA 10 grade. By the way, I'm personally paying all the vendors for all the cards my friends pick up for me, so how much am I gonna have to pay for this one? Three. Nani? All right, next card. You're no help, dude. I'm just kidding. Let's keep on looking, thank you. Does anybody have team up? Anybody, team up cards? Nobody, nothing, not loud enough. This guy is causing trouble and I love it, but we need to find a card soon or this is never gonna get done. And after a bit more hunting. So here we go. This is our guaranteed first find. We got the full art Jasmine. Uh, should we find some more? And find some more he did over at this vendor table with another creator, Juggling Josh. I'm interested in this magic card from Whale or GX. Okay. But the thing is, I'm gonna have to crack it out and put it in this binder. Okay. What's your best <laughs> price on this? Will Pat kill me? This is for the video. We're gonna do it at 400. Deal. All right, let's do it. 
That's interesting. Yes, That's Pat is gonna kill me. Uh, anyway, after that deal, Radar went back to the Creator Lounge, and as he was putting in the Full Art Jasmine into the binder, he made another deal for two big pickups for the set. Wait, so we got an Eevee Snorlax, and we got the Pikachu and Zekrom. Well, these are huge. Radar, you are the GOAT, even though you bought a slab for $400, but that's okay, because we are making progress. But who are you gonna hand this off to next? All right, you ready? I don't know anything. Hey, that's Caleb, AKA Caleb Swag. And just like that, he's tagged into the challenge. I'm gonna skip the ball. We're gonna go straight for the really tough one, which is this guy. Is that it, is that it? And Caleb wasn't lying. He found the Latius Latios right away at the Lucky Vault vendor, but for how much? 900? Yeah. Dude, dude. Another binder comes out and he starts pulling out some more heat. Is that what you're looking for? Some hyper rare rainbows and even more. I mean, we gotta complete the entire set. I don't know what you're looking for. Oh. All right, dude, look crack. You got so many of the big ones. Whoa! I'm just doing what you couldn't do. And while waiting for the price for those other cards, Caleb turned to this vendor, Cloud TCG, for something he thought he saw earlier in the day. Do you have any more of these? I have one left in this. You got one left? What's the price on it? Hold up, the Gengar and Mimikyu alternate art? Dude, Caleb is putting in the work. What's the price on it? For you, I'd like 300. 300? Yeah, we can do 300. This is an easy challenge, dude. Back to the other table, and after some final calculations. This is what we're gonna pick up for 375, seven of the big hits, which is awesome. 375? All right, 375. Caleb and Lucky Vault coming up huge for me. Thanks, guys. We've got momentum and a ton of other creators at this event, so I wonder who he's going to tag in next. Am I up next? It's Shiv to the rescue. Here you go, man. Oh, we're going to go eat. We're going to eat after. Pat needs us. Pat we have 40. Needs us. Over. Over. Pat, I got you. Thanks, man. I can't let Pat down. Creators, I guess, that we're missing. Yeah, I think we're going to do this. we got to find something good and juicy. I'm thinking about just speed running this. I'm thinking about not getting too distracted. Ooh, look, there's some Pikachu. Um, Shiv, what happened? The Pat needs your help. Don't worry though, because he did come through. Does anyone have team up? I think I do actually. Yo, Stuff you have like Brock's grit. I do, yeah. Yo, it's Team Pocket, and Team Pocket always comes in clutch. And I, uh, I think this one is two. Oh yeah, you got that yeah, too. I got that too. Two and one go, let's go. We're not done yet. With community. And after another few minutes on the floor. They got packs, we're gonna go for this one. Is that good with you guys? Yeah. Let's do it, let's get over here and let's open these up. Opening up some packs with a fan of Pats. You get two, I get two. Awesome, four packs. This should totally make a dent in the commons and uncommons, and maybe we'll get some hits. Two, Two three. three. All right, nothing. But we need all these cards, so that's a good thing. And no hits in the next round either, but that's okay. Back at the Creator Lounge, Shiv takes the time to organize everything for me. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Now we gotta find someone else. We need to find a friend. Enter Goat Breakers, who got tagged in right away. Let's see what we're working with. I really like gold cards, seeing, oh, we could get this Latios and Latios, but no, 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 no. And maybe get an Ampharos GX or the Celebi Venus. Right? That's what we're gonna go for. I like the plan, but let's actually see what happens. It's super nervous, because again, I'm helping fill out bad <laughs> binder which is a large task that I just am honored to be a part of oh yep there's a Latios and Latios right there we might come back we might come back for that are you guys have any team up packs over here by chance sold out, sold out? oh my gosh <laughs> hey just you guys have any team up packs at all does the dog have any? Goat Breakers has it hard because he's going after everybody else who's already went. Eventually, he finds a card that I need from this guy with the really sick dreads. We're gonna get the Pikachu Zekrom right there. That one for 31, right? Now this full art is one of my favorites from the set. All right, so we've got one card. We're gonna keep looking around for some packs and some more. We're still looking for some more full arts. You don't have any Sun and Moon uh, team up cards in those, do you? After 30 more minutes of hunting around, he finally found something else that we needed. We might have a whole box of team up. It might be our last hope. We got Magikarp and Whale Lord right here. Is it good for 50? Okay, so we did a lot. Don't know how anybody else is gonna find. Well, we'll find out because after Goat Breakers puts these into the binder. Perfect timing. It's Poke Surge. And after a quick mission brief. Have fun. Thank you. See ya. And that's when Surge starts running like they just refilled the stock at Target. We're gonna go hit up the vendors because we only have about 45 minutes. So we gotta go, we gotta go quick. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And somehow, like a hawk, Surge knew exactly where to go. I think I've seen a Zapdos here, a hollow that we need for, there we go. I seen this one earlier. I, I mean, I could do a trade. Yeah, you could take a look at all my binder right here, just for the Zapdos hollow. We're trying to complete a team upset. 
Yeah. You want to do a first shardy? Yep, let's do it. Awesome. Thank you. This is going to help out right here. Okay, you can totally tell this guy's from New York with just how speedy he's doing this. See if we could find another thing. And, of course, his accent, too. Anyway, he runs through the vendor hall and spots another friend. We got Pat right here with Drip. And then we got Pocket Packs. Bro, I need some help with Team Up, man. Can you hook me up? I do have Rem some from our pack battle last night. Yes. Yo, you're going to help us complete this set. We got one hit. Oh. One hit. Let's go. We Bunch got one hit. That's what we need. I'm, that's what I'm looking for. What do you want for that? You sure? Thank you. Pocket Packs, man, you didn't have to do that. There's so many great creators in this community willing to help out, and all the creators' links will be in the description. Right, best of luck. 20 minutes left, and then the vendors are packing up. Let's see if we could get that Prism card that we are looking for. I might see it. I might see it. Yes, it is right here. The Tapu Coco. Surge is absolutely insane. I don't know how he does this. That's the one I saw earlier when I was here scouting. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that explains it. You could take a look at my trade binder the yep i'm fine with that awesome thank you so much thank you dude where else is this guy gonna find some cards let me see if i could find any team up packs in here <clears throat> let me look for them Okay, maybe not in there, but I think he found all he could. Plus the vendor area is now closed. And after spending 20 minutes of putting the cards into the binder for me, that's it. We got all we could thanks to the help of these other awesome creators at Card Party. A great start, but of course, we're not even close to being done yet. Just don't panic, okay? Everything will be fine. You'll complete the set, just don't panic. Back at home, I finally had time to personally check the progress of the binder, and yeah, there's still a lot to go. Oh, and eventually I have to crack this thing open, but I'm not gonna do that unless we get close. And even though I still have some time until my trip, I have no idea how I'm gonna finish this set in time. I still have 101 cards to go. To start, I took the ETB guide and started marking off what I had already, but I made a huge mistake. I used one of those super fat permanent markers, and apparently you need to give it time to dry or else Oh no. Yeah, now there are X's on cards I didn't even have already. Ugh, this is not good. The next day, I took a trip to my favorite local card shop, TC's Rockets, and just my luck, Brad was there to help me out. Uh, make sure you subscribe to Brad too, to start a YouTube channel, he's got some good stuff coming. And after 30 minutes of searching through all the cards he had in store, we found... One, a Lycan Rock, that's it. One card. And this one. But hey, one is better than none, and now we're at exactly 100 cards left to go. This is the most challenging set I've ever tried to complete. A couple days after that, I went to one of my favorite streamers, Royalty Gaming Pokemon, and he actually had Team Up on his list of packs to buy, so I bought two. Absolutely, Pat, yeah, without a doubt, man. Of course, I was hoping for some hits, and it seemed like he was too. Latios, Latios, come on. Ferrothorn Rare, that's not the best hit, but it is something we needed, and I think I saw a couple others I needed too. Oh, and it was nice to see the love from the chat in here as well. Okay, pack number two, Absol. Okay, we get another rare that we needed, which is good, but this card is bringing back some bad memories from my last completion video. By the way, that Crown Zenith binder. Hey everybody, I got Alexis here from the Crown Zenith video. Do you want to say hi to everybody? Hi. I have that Crown Zenith binder. We're going to give this away on the channel when we hit 750,000 subscribers. So we're really close. But I would love for you to sign this binder. Would that be okay? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for doing that. Now, I recently bought a collection and in that collection, there was already a set that I had completed. So I'm going to give you your own binder with a complete set of brilliant stars. You are awesome. You're welcome. High five for helping out and being part of the community. As I was waiting for those new pickups to arrive, I checked another pile of cards I have, which includes some ultra rares or better, and I usually throw them in during giveaways, and I found one card. Again, just one card, a Cobalion GX. When Saturday hit a few days later, I made a trip to a new collectible expo here in San Diego called Ninja Exchange. It kind of reminds me of a Frankenstein's a little bit. There's just so much to look at. And after a little excursion around the place, I found a familiar face. Yo, it's Terry. Oh, what up? What's up, dude? How are you? So I, uh, I'm already seeing some tag teams oh. over here. I'm looking for a team up. Do you have any team up? I hope we do. We should have at least a tag teams today. Okay. Well, we'll take a look. As I was looking through the cabinets, Terry looked through the box of PSA cards I had for trade, and I could definitely tell he was interested in a few of them. After a good 20 minutes, we finally came to a deal. These four PSA cards of mine for these nine team up tag teams, including three hyper rare rainbows, which I was super stoked to see. Thanks, man. Thank you, appreciate it. By this time, after all the new pickups we had, there were still 85 cards left, including that Latius Latios alt art that we were gonna have to figure out how to get. That's so many cards, and to be honest, when I saw how many we had left, I sort of just gave up. Gave up.
Many times in life, you create a goal. And in the beginning, the dreams are wild and exciting and fresh. So of course you have the energy to go along with it. But when things get hard or the plan doesn't go according to plan, you put it to the side because maybe you're embarrassed or maybe you're too scared to fail or you have no idea where to go next. I've been in this position many times in my life before. After I got laid off for my dream job as an architect, when getting on stage in front of hundreds of people for the first time, writing my first book, inventing my first product, hosting my first event, and the one thing that helped me get through all of those challenges more than anything? Family. I mean, yeah, basically along the lines of what I was gonna say, but- Family. Bro, I was trying to get deep here and you're just making it weird. Family. Don't you say it, don't, don't you say it. Family. Ah! I was gonna say I could never do it alone, but family makes sense to you, I guess. Anyway, in the situation I'm currently in with about a week left until Japan, I have one family of people, I guess, online who I can go to for help. The Gem Mint Club. That's our membership community here on the channel who get access to special giveaways and the member only discords, special merch drops and more. And they're all Pokemon nerds just like me. So I knew they could understand the predicament I was in and maybe, just maybe, some of them had some extra team up cards I could buy off of them. I needed them fast though, so here's what I did. Step one, I created a Google sheet of all the remaining cards that I was missing and yeah, there was a lot. Step two, I added instructions at the top that basically said, hey, if you have any of these for sale, you can get them to me by the end of the week. Also, I told them to write a special message on the envelope or package so I know it was specifically for this challenge. And step three, I sent a message in our member only Discord and just prayed. And within minutes, something crazy started to happen. People started filling out the form. I couldn't believe this was working and it was actually blowing me away just how generous some people were. As soon as the names came in, I connected with them on Discord about the payment, but some of the cards and even some of the bigger hitter cards were being claimed by anonymous. Somebody or a bunch of somebodies just wanted to help out and they didn't want the credit or the money or to even be known for it. I just, I can't believe this, this is, an amazing community, I just absolutely love it. And this wasn't all. There was so much mail, in fact, that it couldn't fit in my tiny mailbox. And there's that special message I told them to write, we got this, because it is definitely gonna be a group effort here if we pull this off. So sick. Back at home, again, I was just blown away from all this. I couldn't believe this actually worked. But now the question is, do we have everything we need? Well, let's open everything up and find out. Huge thank you to Real Bob the Alien, Vortex, Zach the Poke Collector, Joseph M, That Card Collector, Pokecade0625, Colin, Sarah P, Blake Shaver, Justin F, and Jackalope Plays, plus the anonymous contributors who are amazing and thank you and just, you know who you are, even though I don't. Let's go, dude, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, dude, this is so sick. And after 30 amazing minutes and so much gratitude for these community members, I couldn't believe it. Oh, man. We just had two cards left. And one of them we have right here. The graded Magikarp Whale Lord alternate art that Radar picked up in the beginning of this challenge almost two months ago. And I think it's about time to crack it open for science. That's science. Actually, not for science, but because we want to finish this binder. Now, cracking slabs is something I'm not great at and I'm actually quite afraid of. I'm remembering a video that I once did before. Oh! And I'm feeling just as confident as I did before, which is not at all. Oh! The most important thing though is that I don't damage the card, so let's hope I don't do that. Thanks, Radar. Oh my gosh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Our right, looks okay. Hey, oh man. Radar, that one's for you. I don't ever want to do that again. And now all we have left is the Latius Latios alternate art. Just pray for me, please. And with two days left until I head to Japan, I basically have one more card and one last chance to find the elusive Latius Latios alt art to complete this entire set. I can't believe we are this close and it always takes this long and we're always down to the wire. Why does this always happen? So what do we do? I think your best bet is trying to like make the best deals you can possibly make. Ask everyone you can, don't underestimate anyone's collection. If you got my number, just text me because I need some as well. Uh, hit up Instagram. And you know what? It didn't take me long on Instagram to find someone that may have one available for me, but it was gonna cost me not money, they wanted a trade for these two PSA graded cards right here. And he said he was gonna be around the Ninja Exchange the next day. 
the next day, that's literally the day before I go to Japan. Okay, we are on the final stretch here. AJ is over at uh, TCG Trophies in the Ninja Exchange. I am actually really nervous now. This is the last chance we have. This is literally the last day and I still have to pack. Always comes down to last minute. This is absolutely wild. All right, Ninja Exchange, let's do this. Walking into the exchange, I know AJ is a vendor here, but again, this place is huge and I have no idea where he might be. I'm looking for TCG Trophies. Dude, where is he? Finally, after several minutes, I get to a spot. Hey guys, uh, do you know where AJ is? Have you seen him? Nope. No? Nobody knows. He said he was AJ gonna be here. Man. You don't know an AJ? Uh, oh, bro. And of course, he's not even here. I have his IG, but he wasn't responding. Terry, have you seen AJ? I have not seen him today. Uh... I don't even know what to do. And finally, around the corner, I see him. There he is, AJ. What's going on, Dude, man? you were here, I, I was afraid you left. He has the card, now let's hope he likes what I brought for him. I found AJ. Yay! Oh, that AJ! Oh, that AJ! <laughs> Alright. Got the two here. Are those are those the right ones? Yes, sir. These are the ones that I've been looking for. Alright. Yo, we got it! We got it! Yeah. We got it! And after 58 days, dozens of creators and community members, lots of stress, and yeah, a whole lot of money too, we did it. We actually completed Team Up. And the only way we were able to do that is together. Family. This is what I'm talking about. Make sure to subscribe so you catch the next video. We did it. And I go to Japan. Subscribe so we can check out the adventures we do there. Crazy, crazy.